this is where I slept. So yes, I quit my job and left my house behind. It was time for me to go on a road trip, find some freedom, nature, and most importantly, through this road trip, I wanted to show you the coolest artisan bakeries in Northern Europe. To start this journey, we stop at a small artisan shop. We only bought some cheese, but they sold all kinds of traditional Polish products. Beers, jams, breads and even much more. The place was idyllic, that's why I wanted to share it. Then we stop in a forest along the way to have a bite to eat and just try the cheese. And after that, we hit the road towards Mikowaiki. Mikołajki is a small seaside resort town on the edge of Poland's largest lake. The town is very nice and of course I had to stop to try some product from the only bakery open that day. Unfortunately, this croissant was flat, tasteless, it didn't even have a hint of butter. And to top it off, it was dry and quite ugly. But later on in this video, I will show you one of the best bakery in Warsaw. At the end of the day, we found a little spot hidden in the nature by the lakeside and try another pastry from the bakery before. A sweet bread filled with blueberries and the verdict was the same. It was bad. Well, it can't always be perfect, right? Then we simply enjoyed our last moment together before parting ways for the summer, unfortunately. And we slept here, in the midst of nature, in peace. The best feeling in the world.
The next day we enjoy the solitude and the sunshine and then we hit the road again. Through forest, green and wild spaces, we drove towards centuries old trees that still stood majestically on the lake's shores. And at the end, the time came for us to part ways, for professional reasons. But we will reunite soon in another country. And you'll see that. So far, I continue my journey, my trip to the bakeries. But before I wrap it up, I wanted to save the most exciting part for the end, the visit to bakeries in Warsaw. Guys, to wrap up this video, I couldn't wait to show you these two amazing bakeries. The first one caught my attention, thinking it was a unique independent bakery, but when I look at the receipt, it seemed to be a franchise, or maybe not, as there were two different names listed. It was quite intriguing. And then, let's move on to the second bakery, my personal favorite, which I've been eager to visit for a very long time. It's Benje Dobje Bakery. We picked up a variety of goodies, including mouth-watering loaf of bread. And just in a short moment, we're gonna try all the sweets. But before we conclude, I hope you've enjoyed this new content. If you did, show your support by hitting the like button and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of our amazing road trip to bakeries. And it's still warm. Well, I didn't got lots of mushroom tea yeah, it's when I bite it sometimes. Actually, the three of them they are super tasty. Mm. They're delicious. It's quite a good idea actually. Cheese and mushroom is kind of brioche. We're gonna try this now. This is the yeast cake, huh? plus mm. blueberry. Blueberry, yeah. Cheese. Also, you take with no rhubarb and strawberries. Yeah, it's tasty also. Surprisingly, I didn't expect that. I'm not a huge fan of this, but with, with, the, with the cheese inside, it's like warm. warm. Try this one. Rhubarb, strawberry. That's good also. Of fruits. And the Nutella croissant. Nutella is in the middle. So I'm gonna buy some. Oh, it's good too. I mean, the croissant, the Nutella is good. And the croissant. Well, the croissant is simple, dry croissant. It's okay. The Nutella took the top. So those two, very good. This one, and the best. Can you feel the butter in the croissant? No, really. Mm -hmm. I don't really feel the butter here. Yeah. So both bakery, very good. Do, dos, dos ka with strawberries, six loti. It's like one euro forty, something like this. And croissant, eight loti. Like 